Hey there, this is Akshin Madan and welcome back to a new video. In the last part, I had shown you how I completed uh, the web view of container number three, container number four and container number five. And I told you that we will be completing the mobile part. So you can try it on your own and uh, or if you want to see directly the code, let me just show you. So I'll click on this mobile version and you can see that how beautifully it is responsive to our mobile view also. So this is my container three, this is my container four and this is my container five, which are all similar, right? So let me show you the solution. And if you want to try it on your own, you can pause the video and uh, after completing, you can directly see the result, right? So this is my common container file and I have taken another widget common container mobile, which takes the same number of parameters, but you can also remove this Boolean image left because it is not getting used, right? So here I have a container. It is having a padding vertical 30 and horizontal W by 10 similar. Everything is same as common container of desktop, right? So nothing different. Then instead of having a row, I'm having a column because you know that here everything is inside a column. There is nothing in horizontal axis. So here is a column cross axis alignment center. Then I'm having a container which is having height 200, which is for this image. So it is having height 200 and in the decoration image, I have passed the image box fit dot contain. So this is my image done. Then size box of height 20. Then I'm having a uh, string one, which is for this thing always online or free some cost, the small text, right? With the same styling, nothing I have changed, right? Then I'm having size box of height 10. Then this is size two, sorry, sorry, string number two. And instead of having text alignment left or right, it will be center because you know that here I'm not having any access dependent code. It is always be at the center, right? So this is at the center and instead of font size W by 20, it should be W by 10, right? Because if I just make it W by 20, as I was doing in desktop view, it will be uh, like very, very small, right? I don't want this. So it should be height by, sorry, width by 10 for the mobile view. So it looks good, really good now. Then I'm having my uh, text number three, uh, size, string number three, after having size box of height 10. Again, text line center, then the same styling, same font size, nothing changed, right? Then finally, I'm having this text button with the same styling, nothing changed, right? Just one thing that you need to do is when you're calling this common container mobile in container number three over here, in container number four and in container number five over here, just remove backslash n from the string number three, right? Because if you'll keep the backslash n as I was keeping in desktop, then it will uh, like not be appropriate because you know that mobile width is very small as compared to a desktop, then it will automatically wrap it, right? You don't need to put backslash n, right? So let it be natural, let it be as it is. So remove the backslash n from string number three and everything is same. So this was how you can complete container three, container four and container five in the mobile part. You will get the code, don't worry about it. And in this video, we saw how you can make responsive version of container three for five. So I hope that you enjoy this part. Till next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.